In the last 20 years, China climbed the world's economic ranks. It managed the fastest sustained growth of any major economy ever recorded. In just a few decades, China has gone from a poverty-riven country to an economic superpower. So how did they do it? From a country ravaged by poverty and war to one of the world's most powerful and influential nations, China's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. But how did this happen? What were the key factors that propelled China's economic development? And what does this mean for the rest of the world? Join us as we delve into the history, politics, and economics behind China's rapid transformation and discover the impact it has on global trade, international relations, and more. Get ready to uncover the truth behind China's rise to global economic superpower as we explore the in-depth story. China's Historical Context China, also known as the Middle Kingdom, is a long history of being a global economic powerhouse. China held the top spots for the world's largest contiguous economic zone, highest per capita income, and highest standard of living for more than 2,000 years. Chinese culture and history are firmly rooted in the idea that China is the center of the world. By the middle of the 19th century, China had begun to lose power and influence as a result of a variety of internal and external factors. The rapid population growth of the nation, the ineffectiveness and corruption of the government, and the disastrous consequences of opium imports that were imposed on China by outside powers were all factors in the collapse of the Chinese Empire. The peak of this decline was marked by the Opium Wars, which were fought between China and foreign nations in the years 1839 to 1842, and 1858 to 1860, and which led to China's forcible opening to foreign trade. When the People's Republic of China was established in 1949, this period, also known as the Century of Humiliations in China, came to an end. Mao Zedong's leadership enabled China to end its semi-colonial status and shape its relations with other nations in a way that was self-determined. Under the leadership of Mao Zedong, China underwent a series of tumultuous events, ranging from economic turmoil to political instability. But it was not until Deng Xiaoping introduced the policy of reform in opening in 1978 that the country began to see a significant shift towards becoming a global economic powerhouse. The implementation of market-oriented policies and the attraction of foreign investment played a crucial role in this transformation, as it allowed for modernization and economic growth on a massive scale. It was through the shift in approach that China was able to rise from a poor developing nation to a leading economic superpower in the world today. The 1950s in China was a decade marked by tragedy, as the country experienced one of the greatest human disasters of the 20th century. Mao Zedong, the leader of the Communist Party, had ambitious plans to rapidly industrialize China's primarily agrarian economy through the Great Leap Forward Initiative. However, this ambitious plan failed spectacularly and resulted in the deaths of an estimated 10 to 40 million people between 1959 and 1961, making it the most costly famine in human history. The tragedy of the Great Leap Forward was followed by the Cultural Revolution of the 1960s, another campaign led by Mao to rid the Communist Party of its rivals. This period of economic disruption further compounded the damage to China's society as it led to the destruction of much of the country's social fabric. The economy was in shambles, and the people were suffering from poverty, hunger, and political oppression. After Mao Zedong's passing in 1976, a new era of reform was ushered in under the leadership of Deng Xiaoping. One of the key changes that took place was the empowerment of peasants, giving them the autonomy to farm their own plots which greatly improved living standards and alleviated food shortages. Furthermore, the establishment of diplomatic relations between the United States and China in 1979 marked a turning point for the country, as it opened its doors to foreign investments. Multinational corporations and investors flocked to China, drawn by the prospect of inexpensive labor and low rental costs, thereby infusing the economy with much-needed capital, economic reforms, and opening up. Market economy reforms were gradually and experimentally implemented during the early stages of China's economic reform. These new policies were allowed to be experimented with by local governments without being directly supervised by the federal government in certain locations, known as experimental points. They were then put into practice across the country. If these experiments were successful, foreign investors received preferential treatment in designated special economic zones, including tax breaks and other incentives. This strategy was viewed by the Chinese government which was eager to draw foreign direct investments, FDI, as a way to bring in much needed capital and technological know-how, while still retaining some level of control over foreign businesses operating within its borders. Starting from a relatively low base in the early to mid-1980s, this strategy proved successful, and over time, more and more foreign investors started to pour into China. This policy consequently had a significant impact on China's economic development and growth. Over time, 
the number of foreign investors in China continued to grow, and the special economic zones expanded to cover larger areas. This influx of foreign investment helped to drive China's economic growth and modernization, and by the late 1990s, China had become a major player in the global economy. Today, China continues to attract significant amounts of foreign investment, and the special economic zones remain an important aspect of the country's economic development strategy. The events of 1989 had a chilling effect on the relationship between China and the West, but it could not stop the rise of China as an economic powerhouse. Despite the economic sanctions imposed on China in the wake of the Tiananmen Square incident, foreign investors were lured by the country's competitive production costs and labor force, leading to a surge of foreign direct investment in the 1990s. This resulted in China's transformation into the world's leading manufacturer of low-cost consumer goods and deepened its integration with global markets. During the subsequent years, many Western companies and consumers benefited from this division of labor with China, as they were able to take advantage of the comparative advantage that the country offered. This was further solidified with China's accession to the World Trade Organization WTO, in 2001, which allowed for even more trade and investment opportunities between China and other countries. However, this also brought new challenges and implications for both China and the world economy, such as the increasing trade imbalance and intellectual property rights disputes. China's remarkable economic growth in recent decades has been inextricably linked to its expanding international economic ties. As the world's leading exporter and second largest importer of goods, China's foreign trade has been a driving force in its economic development. Additionally, the country has become a major recipient of foreign direct investment and has also seen a significant increase in its own foreign investment abroad. The country received more foreign direct investments FDI, than the United States, which had been the clear leader for a long time. For the first time in 2020, initially treated with great restraint, Chinese direct investment abroad has increased nearly 3,000 times. China's economic resilience during the Great Recession of 2007 to 2009 was a testament to its sound macroeconomic management. Despite a 15 to 18 percent drop in exports and 23 million people losing their jobs, the Chinese economy bounced back quickly, with 98 percent of those unemployed finding new jobs and the unemployment rate dropping to 4 percent. This stands in stark contrast to many other countries where the effects of the recession lingered for years. It's worth noting that China has also successfully navigated three major global financial crises since 1990, including the severe credit implosion in Japan, the Asian economy's foreign reserve meltdown caused by capital flights, and the Great Recession of 2007 to 2009. These experiences have led to a re-examination of the Western neoclassical paradigm on macroeconomic stability and the effectiveness of counter-cyclical measures such as manipulating the money supply through the Federal Reserve Board. In the 12 five-year plan, China has made a concerted effort to prioritize the growth and utilization of renewable energy sources. The goal is to have these sustainable forms of energy make up 15% of the country's overall energy consumption by 2025. The shift away from traditional fossil fuels not only helps to improve air quality and decrease pollution, but also helps to preserve the environment for future generations. The Economic Successes of China's Reform Policy In the past four decades, China's economic reform and opening up policy has led to unprecedented growth and development. As the largest economy in the world is measured by purchasing power parity, the nation has grown from being a relatively poor and isolated country to a global superpower. This transformation has been characterized by a transition from an agriculturally based rural society to a more urbanized, service based economy. The annual per capita income in both rural and urban areas has increased more than 100 fold since 1980 dramatically raising the standard of living for the Chinese people. The Chinese government's efforts have significantly reduced poverty, despite some ongoing issues like the wage gap between urban and rural areas. The World Bank estimates that since the policy's implementation, over 800 million people have been lifted out of the deepest levels of poverty. Even so, President Xi Jinping declared that poverty would be eradicated by 2020. The Chinese government's liberalization of foreign investment policies and its integration into the global economy have played a critical role in these developments, positioning China as one of the world's most powerful economic superpowers. China's rise to becoming a global economic superpower is a fascinating story of modernization, reform, and innovation. We hope that this video has provided valuable insights and a deeper understanding of China's journey to becoming a superpower. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on other related topics. Also, we would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on China's rise to global economic superpower. Leave us a comment with your thoughts and questions. Thanks for watching.